When two of your long-time foes decide to join hands, it can only mean that the future is awaiting more trouble. The United States found itself in a pickle last week when Russia and China called for closer ties. And since it has been trying to cover all its bases like the Arctic, the region is a peaceful and stable area that is seen as strategically important to the nations in its proximity. They are the United States, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Russia. Five of these nations are already members of the NATO alliance. Finland and Sweden are close to sealing their spot in the military bloc. That leaves out only Russia, which has emerged as a threat. Hence, the United States is set to announce an ambassador to the region. The country thinks this way. It will be able to monitor the developments closely. And the NATO chief agrees. In a recent visit to the region, Jens Stoltenberg raised concerns over how Russia is using the region like a missile test bed. At a time when tensions are at their peak with the West, the Kremlin has reopened hundreds of Soviet-era military sites in the Arctic. And this is worrying for the United States because the shortest path to North America for Russian missiles will be over the North Pole. We also realize that the importance of the high north is increasing for uh, NATO and for Canada because we see a significant Russian military build-up with new bases, new uh, weapon system and also using the high north as a test bed for their most advanced uh, weapons including hypersonic uh, missiles. Since the invasion of Ukraine in February this year, the West has grown extremely wary of Russia's global plans. For example, Canada was criticized for spending too little on its military capabilities as a NATO member. But after Russia's invasion, the Trudeau government decided to invest $3.8 billion to modernize NORAD, which is a joint U.S.-Canadian-North American defense organization. China has also pledged to boost cooperation in the region. Beijing calls itself a near-Arctic state and has ambitious plans for its polar silk road. China has its eyes on the untapped minerals and resources of the Arctic region. And climate change seems to be an invincible partner of the dragon. Because with ice caps melting, it is paving a new shipping route for Beijing. The country wishes to build the world's largest icebreaker fleet. The plans obviously haven't sat well with the NATO. It will mean two of America's most staunch rivals will be in its backyard. The alliance is mulling over an increased presence in the Arctic and also expand its investments to keep Russia and China out of the region. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.